Hi there, so this is a video on how do we do ticker tape for SPM level physics. Now generally, there are three types of ticker tape questions, excluding the one with constant velocity. Now one thing to note, when you do ticker timer, when the direction of motion states to the left, that means that this ticker tape is being pulled to the left, always take note the direction that you have to study. Now, when the direction goes to the left, this means that when we study the ticker tape, we're going to look to the right. Now, most importantly, treat this as the initial velocity, treat this as the final velocity. Now, standard ticker timer questions, at the end of the day, they're going to ask what is the acceleration of this ticker timer. Now, look at this. The initial is short, the final is long. Short for a given time, that means that it travels a shorter distance, indicating that this velocity is slightly slower whereas a longer distance will indicate that uh, for the same period of time will indicate that this car traveled faster. Now based on standard ticker timer, the frequency given is actually 50 Hz unless stated otherwise. Now to calculate the time from one dot to the next dot, we can actually use time to be equal to 1 over frequency which gives rise to 1 over 50 which is 0 0.02 seconds. So that means that the time for one dot to the next dot is 0 0.02 seconds. Now, this, this, the way to start ticker timer is always the same if you want to calculate acceleration. Now, with the right acceleration is equal to final minus initial divided by time taken. This is the overall formula. Now, then I have to calculate what's the initial velocity. Initial would be 2 cm divided by 0 0.02 seconds and give rise to 100 cm per second. Final velocity would be 5 cm divided by 0 0.02, which gives rise to 250 cm per second. Now, substituting this, 250 minus 100 divided by the time taken. Now, as we calculate the time taken for a ticker tape, only in acceleration, I repeat, only for acceleration time, what we're going to do is that we always go jumps. Now that's 1, that's 2, and that's 3. That means that we jump from this middle section to this middle section to this middle section to this middle section. 1 jump, 2 jump, 3 jumps. That means that it's going to be 3 times 0 0.02 and my final answer will be in terms of cm as negative 2. Now it is crucial that you practice this at home more often and make sure you press your calculator correctly. Now, Based on my calculator, this tells me that the answer for this is 2500 cm per second squared. Now, this is a very simple ticker timer, normally in the form of objective questions, to find out the acceleration. Now, I repeat, this video addresses on how to do calculations for ticker timer, so therefore, theory and the basics of it um, will not be available in this video. Okay? Kindly leave a comment below if you would like to know more about ticker timer. So this would be question type number 1. Now, in this question, this question has a slight difference compared to the question before. Now, what's the difference? Now, previously it was all on individual, individual dots. Now, in this case, they are actually sections. Now, you will see that based on this, that means that 1, 2, 3 is 6 cm, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. And the last one is given as 10 cm. Now, as I repeat before, you always have to find what is the acceleration, and the steps are pretty much standard. The initial velocity, which is this 6, because the direction of motion that will be there, okay, I mean, they will be given in the question. So the initial velocity will be 6 cm. Now when I calculate this initial velocity, I calculate 1, 2, 3. Now I repeat, there's no jumps needed as this is the calculation of initial velocity and not acceleration time. So 3 times 0 0.02 seconds, and you're going to get 100 cm. Okay, let's proceed. Now the final velocity would be 10 divided by 3 times 0 0.02 which gives rise to 166.67 cm per second. 
Again, I substitute this in and I will get 166.67 minus 100 divided by. Now, for this kind of questions, we will never ever ever go and jump 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, note that this is section tapes. So section number 1, section number 2, section number 3, section number 4. So what we do now is we jump across sections. 1, 2, 3. So you realize that there's 1 section, 2 section, 3 section, and 4 section. But what we do now is we jump across the sections. So therefore, this would be 3 times. So this is your number of sections multiplied by individually in within each of this has three intervals now remember this one we don't jump so three times 0 0.02 at the end of the day whatever you calculate that will be your final answer so in this case let me just give me a moment with my calculator and i'll get 370.39 cms negative 2. so this would be the final answer for my acceleration. It's actually pretty easy and it's very easy to pick up. Now finally, the graphs. Now we look at this ticker timer, this is initial velocity that's final. We realize that the final is shorter, so definitely this is going to be a deceleration question. Now depending on the question, if the question asks for an acceleration, your answer will always going to be in a negative format. Now, so again, to calculate acceleration, so it's going to be acceleration equals to V minus U over T, which my initial velocity will be 12 cm divided by, do you remember the section ticker timer whereby we do this and you realize that they are always consistent, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, each section, 1, 2, 3. Now, here you go and you see that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, normally in exams, too, there would be a, a section of 10, normally, but in this case, we use 5. So let's just say it's a special case scenario. So that's 5 times 0 0.02, and then what I will get is, I will get 120 cm per second followed by final velocity which is 4 over 5 times 0 0.02 which gives rise to 40 cm per second. Now a very common mistake here is that people will always take the bigger value minus the smaller value. Now watch the final, final. So 40 minus 120 divided by the time. So treating this as a section ticker timer 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that means that for this one, we're going to 4 multiply each of this 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So that will be 5 times 0 0.02. Now again, this is your number of sections. This is your number of each strip. I mean the time in each strip. So finally, I'm going to get this to be equals to 200 cms negative 2. So do realize that there's a graphical, always standard steps, acceleration, calculate initial and final. So this one has a section divided by 0 .0, times 0 0.02. This one has a section as well. So I have initial velocity 3 times 0 0.02. And in this, I jump strips. Finally, the most basic one, which is just initial, uh, mean from one one tick to the other, one dot to the other, so that will be 0 0.02. Now you can always pause this and make sure you look this through before your first time exam for Form 4 because this is actually, would say, a very very important subtopic. Now lastly, kindly leave some comments below seeing how I can actually improve on the video's qualities and actually choice of questions. For more understanding and theory, kindly PM me or add me on Facebook at Jung Hao. Thank you very much.